This thing's been set in a long time. Took the cap off the drain plug. Plug solid. Found that drill bit. There. That was full mud clear the whole three inch of drain pipe there. Anyhow. So now it's running. You never think an old tractor would have antifreeze on it. So I took the I was taking the head bolts out. There, loosened up some nuts on the water manifold, and free started coming out. So I guess, and I know I checked the oil, so there's no water or antifreeze in the oil, so I guess, so I guess that everything is good on the inside of the engine on the water side. All right. I'm making some progress. Oh, whatever. Let, the, let that run out. I've got, at least I've got a couple buckets. Alright, that's enough for now. Alright, I'm back again. I done filmed or videoed that antifreeze thing there. And then I thought I'd catch you up on something else. Turned the camera on and the battery is dead. So I had to go back in the house and change the battery. Anyhow, yesterday I uh, checked the valves here and one was stuck. And looky here today. None of them stuck today. That's something different. Anyhow, I was looking over there in the corner. And I found a can of uh, breakaway. I'm not sure where that thing come from. It's got a real gooey looking slimy stuff. And I squirted it on the valves and different things. I wanted to loosen up just to see if it worked. Yeah, I put it on that one valve there. And it come unstuck on its own last night. So I guess that stuff must be good for something. I might even have to end up and pour it in on top of some of these pistons here later on. And, uh, well, this morning, got the clutch took apart. There's the cover. Found out I'm going to have to get a new lining. Rivets is either worn out or rusted away or something. So the clutch plate's good. So I'll have to get a new lining. So that's not a major major expense. I think the lining is like thirty dollars. But if you get one with a clutch plate and uh the lining already put together it's like a hundred and ten dollars more. That clutch plate's worth hundred and ten hundred and ten dollar core charge. So anyhow, I got that done. Oh I found out an old farm all you don't have to take everything apart, just turn it off to the side. That gives the steering shaft and everything out of the way. And, uh, well, there's a pressure plate. Kind of rusty. But there's nothing rusted away. And I got that soaking stuff soaking on there to get that loosened up. And, oh. Oh, I don't know. It's a little rough yet, but a little more. Ooh. Yeah, a little wire brush, a little sandpaper. That thing will be all right. Oh, anyhow, that's that's what I've accomplished so far today. And, uh, all right, I'll shut the camera off and get back to work. All right, been working on this a little while. Got it cleaned up. Halfway decent. It's probably as good as it was when it was put in there the last time. The only thing I've seen some little spots. Them lines up with the rivets. Must have been some reaction between the brass and the steel when getting rusty. Hey, I got all the dirt and everything knocked out of it. And. Kind of rusty on this outside yet. We got 
two of the arms were loose. One was kind of sticking, but I got it all loosened up. Got the springs all working. So, uh, there it is. Well, that's good enough to put back in for what I'm going to do with it. I'm not going to the tractor pull, and I don't think I'm going to go plowing or farming for another 50 years with it, but maybe just uh, load it up and drive it to show one time, then bring it home and drive it around the barn once and put it away. And definitely, I'm not going to have more money in it than what it's worth. There's a new clutch pressure plate there. It costs probably $100 more than I paid for the whole tractor. All right, that's enough for now. Well, now i got to clean up this clutch disc. It's kind of rusty, but looks like a new lining might make it usable. Yeah, I noticed here. Look there, got all them egg-shaped holes. This thing must have peeled off sometime years ago when the thing was still running. I don't know. And this, this lining looks to be different than the one that was on that other clutch plate. So, alright, I'll get the wire brushing and the sanding and see what we got when we get done. Well, I got the rest of the lining off this clutch disc. Kind of rusty, but it'll clean up. And, uh, yeah, my boy come home help me. Got the head off. That don't look too bad for a stuck engine tractor, does it? All the valves are loose. And, uh, that number two cylinder's a little, little light rust. The rest of them, decent. Uh, he just poured a little more oil in there to see what soaks through tonight. The, I, I ordered them all down, oh, two or three weeks ago. And, uh, the back three had all soaked through. The front one still had some oil in it. So it must be pretty snug there. So, uh, that's where we're at today. I'll get that, uh, I'll get that unstuck tomorrow. Might even have it back together by that time. Probably won't have it running yet, but, oh, uh, who knows. All right, that's enough for now. Well, not really all, all to now. Uh, got an email from a fella that wasn't know if I had a power takeoff extension. In which this tractor don't have one. And I was looking all over the place and I don't have an extra one. But I think I might have one or two extra ones out there off in regular. They were a little bit different. I don't know whether they'll fit on a 20 or not. But I do have two Alice Chalmers power takeoff extensions for pulling the old all-crop power combines behind uh, these F-20s and regulars. Instead of, instead of the power takeoff shaft coming back to about that far, it was a lot longer and it hooked back here on the drawbar with a little bit of a drawbar draw bar there and the power takeoff shaft come back at an angle and ended about here so that oh whichever way to offset for the width of the tractor pulling the combine oh anyhow so that's enough of that uh, rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube and I'll put this up and we'll see what we do tomorrow Oh, looky here. How's that for a bright light in the shop? You don't dare leave that 500 water on very long. That's all.